because Jesus was baptized. Amen. And he commanded in his word that we would be baptized. That whenever we made our decision to follow him, whenever we made our decision to give our lives to him, that we would be baptized. Why baptism? Baptism is, is an identification with Jesus Christ. That, that's what the purpose of baptism is. It's to identify with the work of Jesus Christ on the cross. The work of Jesus Christ is so powerful because Jesus experienced so much pain in his death, so much through the torture that he received in his body. He received 39 stripes on his back. He received nails in his hands. He received a crown of thorn on his head. And I know we just kind of look at that as kind of like a traditional little picture, but that action was a reality that he did for you and me. Yes. And the reason why he did it, he did it for our sins. Everybody say, for our sins. For our sins. For our sins. How many recognize that we're all sinners? Amen. We're all sinners. I don't care. Yeah. I don't care how good you think you are. The Bible lets us know that we're all sinners. And so whenever we make a decision like Victoria and Stephen are making today. Amen. To come and say, you know what? I want to identify with what Jesus Christ did on the cross. The Bible says that after he died, he was buried in a grave for three days. And he didn't stay there in the grave. I'm glad that he penetrated death and he conquered death. And the Bible says on the third day, he rose from the death. Yes, Lord. And he lives today. And so, so today, as we baptize Victoria and Stephen, they're both going to go down in the waters today. And it's going to be a sign of burial. Amen. The old Victoria, the old Stephen, is going to be buried here today. Amen. Amen. Let's go. Amen. And it's an identification with Jesus Christ. Everybody say, I'm identified, I'm identified with Jesus Christ. With Jesus Christ. The, the Bible lets us know that, that when we're baptized with him, we're, we're baptized with him in his death. Amen. So that we can also resurrect to new life. Come on. <laughs> so we want to pray for you, Victoria, today as you make this decision. I know that this decision has been working on you. You've been thinking about it. You've been praying Amen. about it. And uh, it's exciting because I think Victoria is the one that actually brought her mom and dad to church. Amen. 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 She, came, she came over here. 